friends, Miss Janet here from the Silver Library, and I have a STEM activity for you today. But first, we're going to start with a story that will set the stage for our activity. The story I'm going to read is called Katarina and the Lemonade Stand. I don't know how many of you like lemonade or if you've ever made lemonade, but um, we're going to read this first. So, Katarina and the Lemonade Stand, it was written by Aaron. Eater Kono, and it was published by Penguin Group. So we're going to read this first, and then I will um, tell you what you're going to do. I've got a few supplies here already, so it might give you an idea. So I'll just come closer so that you can see the pictures for Katarina and the Lemonade Stand. So Katarina is a little brown bird with great, big, colorful thoughts. She loves summertime fun. Oh, and here she sees a sign in the window. And nothing says summer fun like a shiny new scooter. And scooters are for sale. Fun. But buying new things isn't always easy. Hmm. Money does not grow on trees. What do you see growing on this tree? Lots and lots of lemons. That's awesome. So there she says, luckily, lemons do grow on trees. A lemonade stand would be the perfect way to earn money for the scooter. So here she's making a list what to do with lemons. Katerina, she's making her list. Wow, she is busy. She'll need lots of lemons, sweet sugar, icy cold water, and of course, a super stand. Lemonade, fresh and cold. That looks like a pretty awesome stand. But Katerina, she's not alone. Hmm. Here's Paul's Real Lemonade, another lemonade stand. Oh my goodness. Lots of friends have the same idea. Patrick is also selling lemonade and so is Paul. Even Dig Dig. Katarina's lemonade is delicious, but everyone else's is too. Hmm, there's the problem. If Katarina is going to earn enough money to buy the scooter, her stand must stand out. So she needs to make her lemonade stand unique. It will need to look good. Feel good, sound good, smell good. And of course, taste good. Here's a sign, rainbow lemonade. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Katarina's lemonade stand is now unique. It says, color your own lemonade. That's awesome. Look at all her fruit there. That sounds yummy. It earns her an entire bank full of coins. So she sold lots of lemonade. So her bank is full of coins, just enough to buy a shiny new scooter. Awesome. For Leo. Oh, wow. For her sibling, that's awesome. And that, I bet, is gonna make her very happy. So, she had a problem. She wanted to earn some money. So she decided, how was she gonna earn some money? To sell lemonade. But lots of friends were selling lemonade, so she needed to make it unique. She made it, need to make it a little bit different so that other people would buy her lemonade. So that is our situation today. We need to be creative and think up some kind of juice that we could make that other people would want to try or taste at least. And what could we call it? So you can choose any fruit that you find in your fridge and make some juice out of it. So I just have this little um, simple way to make juice. So you just click this together I would cut my fruit in half. So all of the only fruits I brought were a lemon and a lime. 
So I'll cut them in half and then just squeeze out the juice, pour my juice into my little trusty cup because I'm just going to make a little bit to try. Add some water. You would need to add water. And you might want to add some sugar because I think lemons and limes, they're a little bit sour. So you need to add some sugar and try it. Take a sip and see if it tastes good to you. Could you um, get a friend to try it or your mom or your dad? Could you give your juice a name? Give it some unique name. Because we know there's lemon and lime drinks. There's lemonade and there's lime flavored drinks. Maybe you have an orange. You could put in some orange juice as well or whatever fruit you have. And then um, get somebody to try your drink and see if you could be able to sell some at a stand at the end of your driveway like Katarina did and she made hers unique because you could make rainbow lemonade that sounds like an awesome plan so I hope you have fun juicing your fruit so juice it juice it good squeeze it get those that juice out and sweeten it up a bit with some sugar give it a taste add some water give it a taste and then see if a friend or a parent would like to try your juice too. And maybe when summer comes and it's time to make a lemonade stand, you'll have a plan already in place of the fruits you're going to use to make a unique drink that your friends and neighbors would just want to buy and try. Okay, have fun with that and I will see you soon.